Other news tonight, Kia thefts are on the rise and it's causing out of control criminal drivers to rip down streets across the region. News Force Tara Lynch spoke with a woman whose car was smashed into last night by a stolen Kia in South Buffalo. Tara. Well, Dave and Kelsey, we now know two stolen Kias were driving erratically before last night's violent crash on South Park and Tiff Street. Now a woman who was in the car that was crashed into is speaking out. I am lucky to be alive. I'm, I'm lucky that my fiance who was driving and our dog who was not strapped in are also pretty much unscathed considering the damage of our vehicle. This is the moment a stolen Kia crashed into a Jeep at the intersection of Tift and South Park Monday night. The passenger in the Jeep spoke anonymously with News 4 and said it was terrifying. I don't feel safe driving and I don't even feel safe in the city. Um, uh, I, I really am still in awe that this happened and you know, aside from walking away with my life, I just wonder how it got this far. Lackawanna police say the blue Kia was stolen from Buffalo and it was driving recklessly with a red stolen Kia from Tonawanda Monday evening. Officers in Lackawanna spotted the blue vehicle and chased it until it crossed into Buffalo, mere moments before it crashed, sending the Jeep into a home. This video was taken by a viewer Sunday night on Main Street. He says these are two Kias that were weaving through the city streets. You know, you have this problem, which is a double-edged sword. Does law enforcement chase? We don't want to chase because the issue then is that somebody might um, go into a building, strike an innocent victim. We don't chase, so now you have this recklessness out on the street. The driver of the blue Kia in Monday's accident was released with an appearance ticket. Sheriff John Garcia blames bail reform for this constant crime. We should be able to hold them not put them back out in the neighborhood so they could continue doing it. There's no accountability whatsoever. The passenger suffered a concussion and cuts to her foot, leg and lip. She feels like collateral damage. Unfortunately, nowadays you have to look left and right, even at a green light. And um, that's the cautionary tale that I was given. The Erie County Sheriff's Office distributed 100 wheel locks for Kias, which are meant to prevent this kind of crime. Kia and Hyundai also issued new software to prevent these types of thefts. You can contact your dealer to see if your car qualifies for that recall. For Down Studio, Tara Lynch, News 4.